Hi everyone, my name is James Braithwaite here at Braithwaite Physiotherapy in Toronto and today we're going to do one more video in our series on stability and we're going to talk specifically about stability at the pelvis. The pelvis is kind of a fun area, it's a little bit different than uh, many other joints because at this joint we, when we're trying to train stability we focus both on inner unit musculature, now you may recall we talked about transversus abdominis and pelvic floor and diaphragm at the lumbar spine and we get to use those muscles here too at the pelvis, but we also get to use outer unit musculature as well, and outer unit muscles are the big muscles, the ones that do all the moving, and typically they're not so involved in stabilization strictly per se, but at the pelvis we do get to use them. We're going to teach you a couple of um, outer unit uh, pelvis stabilizing exercises today, which is kind of cool. Uh, but let's start with just a very simple concept um, to use uh, on how to use inner unit musculature to stabilize the pelvis, and that is um, using the transversus abdominis. That's the muscle that brings in your belly, uh, draws in that point just below your navel. So if you've ever taken a Pilates class, they've probably talked about using your transversus abdominis, you know, drawing in that point on the front of your abdomen just below your navel uh, to stabilize the lumbar spine or the core as they call it. Um, and we get to use that same muscle here uh, when we're talking about pelvic stability too. Uh, so certainly when you're moving around, transitioning between things like sitting and standing or lying down to sitting up or even doing things like walking down the hallway, I want you to try and focus on that little drawing, that drawing in of that point on the front side of your abdomen just below your, your navel because that transversus abdominis muscle is key for uh, helping to stabilize around the pelvic ring uh, as well. Uh, so, you know, use it, practice it, and you'll notice that you're not doing it all the time. But it just takes a little bit of mindful attention to, uh, a, 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 you know, a 50% dry in to make a big difference in, in helping you to snug up that, uh, that pelvis. Now, the outer unit musculature is kind of the novel thing that we're going to look at, and let's talk about that. So come on over, let's try an exercise. I think I don't need this. Don't need that. Let's get rid of that. When we're using our outer unit musculature, uh, what we're trying to do at the pelvis is, is work on muscular belts, right, that cross along the abdomen um, to uh, snug up the pelvis. And uh, the belts that we're going to talk about today uh, include your uh, oblique abdominals and your adductors and your glutes and your lats, the muscles that sort of do this and this in your upper back. Uh, so we're going to use all those different muscles to create belts to help snug up our pelvis. So let's do two exercises. First exercise, you're going to grab a pillow or a, even better, a ball, like a medicine ball, basketball, or even just one of like, uh, those children's beach balls, like an inflatable type thing will work nicely too. Whatever it is that you pick, you're going to take it, have a lie down, and place it between your knees, just like so. Okay. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to um, you're going to focus on um, uh, crossing your arms over your chest like so, and you're going to just lift your shoulder blade just barely up off the surface of the table. So if I'm doing it on my left side, you can see I'm just barely lifting. I'm not doing a crunch or anything like that, which we don't like anyway. I'm just lifting that shoulder blade off the table, and then I'm squeezing that pillow in at the same time. You see that? So I'm trying to contract both those muscles at the same time, the squeeze and the lift, and I'm going to hold that for seven seconds, and then release. Once again, squeeze, lift, seven seconds, and release. And that's one, it, those, contracting those muscles together creates uh, that belt or sling across your pelvis, which will help to snug it up. So that's one exercise. The second exercise that you can try is you're going to take that same pillow or ball or whatever it is that you're using and you're going to tuck it under your arm and then you're going to uh, squeeze that uh, pillow into your body as if you're playing an accordion. So for all of you accordion play or bagpipe even better. Bagpipe would be more appropriate analogy here. And then you're going to squeeze your opposite glute. So squeeze, squeeze, and then you're going to draw your leg up and down like so. Do a heel slide. And what you're trying to focus on is a nice, snug, quiet core and pelvis. If you're kind of sloppy, you'll notice that an arch comes into your low back or there's a lot of movement at your pelvis as you do the heel slide. But if you squeeze the uh, pillow and you squeeze your glute, it should, you should notice a nice snugging up 
through your uh, midsection and pelvis that will allow you to do the heel slide with a quiet pelvis and, uh, and uh, midsection area. So try both those exercises. On any exercise, any other exercise that you're doing in the gym, or even just in life when you're walking down the street or going up or down stairs, focus on that abdominal draw-in. So if you do those three things, focus on those uh, two exercises I just showed you, and, and work on maintaining an abdominal draw-in on transitions and, and other exercises you're doing in the gym and just life in general, and it can really help to, to snug up and stabilize your pelvis. So some easy tricks that you can do. If you have any more questions about that, of course, you know, don't hesitate to contact your physiotherapist. I'm always available uh, to chat about this as well with you, so don't hesitate to uh, drop me a line as well, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you, and I hope that you're having a great day wherever you are work on these things, have some fun, be stable.